Welcome back, pupils, to another episode of As Far As The Eye. We have managed to make it to the second halt of a run. You gotta remember that the first halt you start on is always a big balanced halt, so I'm very excited to see what this medium canyon halt will deliver. Alright, and it's gonna have a lot of these mountains surely, and then indeed, so far, so... Uh, good. Alright. So, brief note before, before we go on here, while we are traveling with the caravan like this, although we have no rations, yikes. Which means we are eating pepkin right now. While we're traveling with the caravan like this, we uh, we are each pupil eats less than they normally do. They eat two rations or then pepkin per turn instead of the normal uh, six. So you have a little bit more uh, of grace period traveling with the caravan like that. But obviously, uh, obviously, yeah, we are uh, in a bit of a hurry given our uh, situation with the food. So. Canyon Halt. I am already not enjoying this. We're not going to get a lot of adjacency bonus for the caravan, basically. But do I want to brave it and go further in here? I think so. See, we can't even put down anywhere in here. Here's a spot where we can set down the caravan. I don't want to do it on top of the rhinophilos, and I don't want to do it on top of the farm. I'm going to brave it and go further. Ah, uh, see, now we've got a good spot up here. Okay. This might be a better spot, though. Doing it on top of the wall is, of course, a bit of a sacrifice, but there's plenty of wool on the map, so we'll get it, and don't worry. Okay, and there's only two ties that we cannot build on here. It will be the same there. All right, I'll do it here. Set. So immediately, we got to start producing that food. How do we do it? A lifey is our gatherer and a hunter of the tribe. Indeed. Getting a ton of meat or game per tile, and there's plenty of it right here. So a harvest hut or a hunter's lodge seems ideal. Shampoo is our woodcutter. Aaron Moe is our druid. We didn't find any remains or any sacred sites again, so pretty unlucky. Also a stone gatherer and a cook, right. A lifey, where is our... Simri is our builder, best architect, and best engineer. Alright, let me make sure that we get that hunting lodge set up. We could go for a mobile one, I don't think that's what we're doing. So let me put it down up here. It's a bit out of the way, but it's fine, I think. Could be over here instead. No, I'll put it there. Alright. Meanwhile, your Mo is a... Well, she will not work out of the caravan, so there's nothing for her to do right now. Let's just explore with her and see if we can find a remain or a, a sacred site for her to research. Simri Shampoo can go and get the pepkin right away, which is good for us. Meanwhile, a lifey is a hardworking, ab abstemious little pupil, but cannot really do anything right now. I would set you to then gather some wood immediately until the hunting lodge is ready. Yep. Okay. Let's come down here. Hunting lodge is now ready and Lifey will go and work there in a second. Next we really need then is a cookery. Cookhouse. Yeah. We also need a bakery to deal with all of those. That cereal we've built up, we might do that first. I'll make a, pa a permanent one. Come down here.
All right. A new vagary will happen soon. Oh, we gotta check how many turns will stay here. 153 more turns until the waters reach us. All right. Flood. For several days, the water level has risen significantly. Each building adjacent to a lake uh, hex lose 70 HP, and we've got one then. I'm not gonna stop the bakery for that, so. It'll take some damage when the time comes. It's not a big deal. Then, I would like to build a fruit gatherer's hut. Harvest hut. You could make a mobile one of those. Might not be a bad idea. Yep. Yeah. How are we going to be setting up one of those in every area that we're going to a hold on maybe not hmm. oh new recipe or less food consumption okay I don't like this this is not a good recipe influenced by cook baker and chef bonuses but this is not a good recipe it's a very inefficient recipe so why would you want this one I wonder And the bakery can unlock all recipes. This hunting lodge can make it so that accommodation is not required for the one working here. We gotta check those bonuses. Harvesting in this building is not interrupted by bakeries, earthquake, and humidity. Okay, and this one over here says plus 20 production if two pupils are working in the building. Oh, that didn't know that could be a thing. Alright. Even Mo will come up here and start. But you can make bread in the cookhouse. Why do you even want to build a bakery then? This is a bakery. Dope. <laughs> Go and make bread. Simri. Nothing to do. Alright. Pupils without housing can't work. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. We forgot to set up the camp. So in here, you can click this button here, Packed Mobile Buildings. And we have two. We have the farm that we build, and then we have the camp that is always mobile. Oh, but we don't really have this tiles for that. Dang it. All right, so we got to overwrite. Is this the only farm? It's the only farm on the tile. That is crazy. Okay, so we got to overwrite the game then. Buildings adjacent to Lake Hexes lose 70 HP, so that'll be here. In Lifey, it is time to start hunting that game. A friendly caravan has arrived. Alright, good. I would send... Probably... Simri. Oh, you know what? It might be Irimo is a nanny. So we would have to send even Mo to trade with the caravan in order to get that bonus. Almost certainly. Uh, go and talk to them. This way. Like that. And there you are. Blood wants to join you. Or we can get a Rhinophilo for 350... Knowledge points. Hmm. Your tribe asked the Karen for help and suggest that you they do part of the trip with you, reducing the next travel cost by a quarter. I didn't check the travel cost, but I want a new member of our tribe. Now we gotta start making those rations. Now. Even though and Blout here is completely devoid of any skill, but does get both a positive and a negative trait, so Agile takes one less turn to harvest. An eternal beginner cannot specialize in a trade. Oh, wow. Okay, gotta go and start making that food now. Cannot specialize in a trade. Interesting. Now we might want to upgrade this hunting lodge, so we don't require accommodation here. 
though hold on could we get that extra here extra room we might get this before we leave this tile and then just live off of the hunting lodge extra accommodation for now so that everyone can work loud come up this way same with you and Mo. Someone is not working. That would be Simri. Simri can build the farm. New people has joined your tribe, indeed. All right. And I would like to set Blout on the farm. So continue. And again. There we go. Make cereal. No, not Simri. Oh, okay. He, she was already doing it. Alright. Simri. If anything, I would want you to make a harvest hut, but we need wood. So maybe you just gather some wood for a little while. But where's the sawmill in here? Do we need a sawmill on this level? Not really. Let's go and gather the wood. Simri is now an engineer level 2. Oh. Can lower repair costs or lower construction costs? Yes, please. Of mobile structures. Very good. So then we might think about getting that. Alright, so then we need a pasture. Hmm. Pasture down here. Oh, we need wood. Already doing that. Alright. New bakery will happen soon. Tropical mosquitoes. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Any people that crosses a jungle in the next turn round will fall ill. Clouds of mosquitoes appear in the jungles in the area. They are carriers of diseases. I don't see any jungles on this hold at all, so we are unaffected by that vagary. Indeed. New vagary will happen soon. Fire! A building called fire. The fire will damage the building, which will probably have to be repaired following the fire. Each turn there's a chance that the fire will stop. Be careful working in a building, burning building inflicts burns, no kidding. Alright, so it's about to happen. Fire! Go to. The farm is on fire. Alright. So stop doing that. And go and tame a rhinophilo. Hopefully, they don't take damages for passing through the tile. We'll see in a second here. No, Simri didn't take damage for passing through. Alright. Plain sales pack, animal resource is depleted. Yep. And you bakery again. Wow, they are becoming more frequent. Spiritual feasts. Spirit gas spirits gather in the sacred sites to collect offerings and prayers. The sacred sites of this hold are no longer of any use to the pupils. Alright. Well, we didn't find any. There might be one over here, but now we will uh, maybe never know. I don't even know if I'm going to go and check. Okay. Good stuff. Plain cells, pack animal resource is depleted, so we have collected two of them. That's fine. The farm is no longer building, so we'll go and gather some more cereal. And then now we need to build that pasture. Hey, <laughs> another new bakery. Shake. The ground shakes for a few seconds. Permanent buildings seem to be particularly affected. All permanent buildings lose 50 HP. Alright. Well, can't be helped. Shouldn't have built this one first, but I suppose it won't be done by then. Right? Yeah. It was unaffected. Great. 
Uh, pupils no longer need to leave to harvest from there. Okay, and no. Alright, and then you gather a bit of wool. Oh, a new friendly caravan. Alright. You know what, Simri? Just drop what you're doing and go and talk to them immediately. Would we take in another pupil? I think we can sustain it at this point. We can harvest a lot more game on this tile. I've got a good hunter for that. I would take another pupil, and indeed. That is a th grower 3, even. Or we can get 5 potions for 50 or uh, 80 wood. I don't really care about that. As a term of friendship, the caravan gives you precious parchments for your pupils to study. Nah. No. We will take the, the extra grower. A new pupil has joined your tribe. Baojin. Baojin is an acrophobe. Cannot cross mountains. That's not a big deal. Alright. Is sturdy, which is not a good trait. And then slow has a one minus one movement point. Oh. Interesting. But is a grower three? Oh, a grower three. I see. Not a... I was thinking about a... Uh, not a collector. What's it called? A gatherer. Mm, that's not the same. All right. I want them to work then in the wool business for now. Then Simri can do, go and do something else. And I'm thinking people without housing cannot work. Right. We can upgrade the camp in here with a hundred wool, which we will get soon enough. All right. Maybe we will send Iren Mo out here to explore this tile, and until then, Simri can do some work. And I would construct another hunting lodge here. Oh no, we need a food gatherer's hut there, a harvest hut. Uh, but it also takes wool, and I want to make a... You know, we could make a, uh, a non... a mobile hunting lodge, but that also takes wool again. Dang it. Hmm. Let's make a permanent one here. Yes. Oh, the, oh, of course I can't afford that either. All right, so let's go and gather some wood. Fair enough. Select, and then use. That, that was Simri. So Bar Barjan goes for the wool. Simri goes for the wood. Like that. And so when we get the wool, we can upgrade the camp immediately and then gain with the extra carrying capacity. Not a single remain or sacred site on this tile. That's kind of disappointing. We were finding so many in the first few uh, episodes of my playthroughs here, and now we are not finding any. Disappoint. Come back to the bakery. All right. Wood resources. We, there's not a lot of wood on this tile. We might need a a uh, market. In fact, eclipse is not gonna matter because there's no auras. All right. Now we upgrade the camp. Then we set you to bread again here. Uh, we would want no, not fruit puree. That's not. When do you get a new... Yeah, she's leveling up in bakery right now, which is good. Then we get new recipes, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, we can make a game pie here. Aha. Uh -huh. I was thinking about the pepkin cake, though, to use pepkin more efficiently, which is probably the one I go for first. Oh, but you can make a pepkin recipe over here. They can both do that. And then this one makes both game and cereal, and this one may uses fish and spices. Hmm. Now I'll go for the pepkin cake over here. Eclipse happened. 
resources have been depleted. The caravan that arrived has left again. All right. Good stuff. We are making a lot of progress here. Ill cell resource pepkin has been depleted. All right. Where is our wood gatherer? I think you go and gather wood down here right now. I'm not going to build a sawmill on this tile. Water rising. The water rising at Vesselby. There are 20 fewer turns than expected for the pupils to leave the hall before the land is submerged. We haven't selected a goal yet. Oh no. I don't even know what we need. Oh, I should have checked earlier though. Damn. We need 360 cereal, which we are currently using. So that is real bad. We gotta stop baking then. Stop. Oh wow. So we will probably still have to buy some off of the market because there's not enough cereal on this map. Yikes. What can we do here? You go and tame. Oh, you don't want to work in other buildings. So I say you. Or oh, did I just delete your resources? I think I did. Because he was returning resources. Coming a grower. So then we would have had enough. Short conclusion. Or in short, we need the market. Simri. What does a market cost? A hundred wood. Okay, we have that on the map. But not a much more than that. Okay. And we very soon lightning. Okay. Water rising, lightning. A building has been destroyed, the hunting lodge, okay. Well, I was going to build another one anyway. We'll build it somewhere over here. Are we doing on food? Oh, not looking good. We need that cookhouse soon. Simri. Can we get the cookhouse first? Yes. We will make the mobile one. Yes. I think we will. Make it over here. Dead center. Plane cells pack animal resource is depleted. Yeah. And the hunting lodge was destroyed indeed. So Elifey here is not doing anything right now. But could also build. But doesn't have any housing, really. Oh, because the uh, the, the the hunting lodge wasn't give it was giving us extra housing in theory. Uh, but I have the the technology. We have the technology, folks, to get extra room like that, allowing Elifey to go to work and might maybe even just build a permanent hunting lodge. No. I know, we should really have Simri do it. This is gonna be more compact, isn't it? If I do it with her, uh, him. Buildings, mobile buildings here constructed, but this computer will be more compact. And the market, I believe, is a mobile building. But right now, Elifey is doing nothing. Go and collect some pepkin, I suppose, until further notice. So then, Simri, we need that hunting lodge. Which then didn't matter for the, uh, but it is cheaper 
Very much cheaper. Okay. Very good. Come down here and do it. This is a cookhouse, not a market. Okay. We still have enough resources for the market? Yes. The remote is harvesting. Who's not working? Loud. It's gonna go for the farm immediately after Aaron Moe's current harvest cycle, but you know what, we're just gonna interrupt it and go and start roasting some meat here. And then you go for the cereal. Everyone is working. Architect level 2, alright. Lowered upgrade cost for buildings constructed by this pupil. Does not apply to previously constructed buildings. Alright, makes sense. But for future ones. Good. Which means that now you are returning resources in life, but after that you should be queue up for the hunting lodge. The market needs a hundred wood, and we are about to get it. Go and collect one instance of wood, I think. Serial resources depleted, alright. So you know what, you should be the wood gatherer. Where are you, Blout? Returning resources, good. And go for the wood. Who's not doing anything? Blout, go for wood. Huh. And why can you not? I thought... Who is doing it? Ah, again, I said Simri to do it, okay. Like that. Going to work, but you gotta go and hunt game. Select. Simri is not doing anything, I know. Continue. Now we can afford the market. A new bakery will happen soon and Misia in the morning as they get up with enthusiasm to start a working day. The pupils realize that they no longer remember the ideas they had in the recent weeks. The tribe loses 200 knowledge points. So I betcha if I can spend the knowledge points before then, we would not lose all of them. We can't lose more than we have is what I'm saying. Cannot build, there's no available space near the caravan, so we are destroying the bakery. We're not gonna cook any more cereal in this, on this uh, tile anyway. You know what? We can afford the, uh, the travel precisely. That is lucky. Bakery destroyed, and it has to be built next to the caravan indeed. So yeah, so placement of the caravan is so super important. Main cell resource is depleted, yeah. In two turns. There. So now let's spend all the research points that we can. Optimization, for example, could be good. I'm thinking Pepkin. Could also be... It would, won't be that relevant for this particular... One. So either rations or game or pepkin. Wait, what's this over here? Uh, the caravan can be installed and appendices can be deployed on a hill. Aha! See, we've got two hills next to us here. Even. I think that's the one we should get. Good. That's what I was missing. Perfect. And then we cannot lose more than 40 knowledge points, so we go to zero. Very nice. Alright. Simi is now a level 3 engineer, having leveled up fully in that. Minus 4 turns to deploy a mobile building or... This pupil carries a mobile building on their back during the journey, saving a space in the caravan. Heck yeah. That is a lot of extra space. Because they're so inefficient in their um the way they take up space in the caravan. That is a big deal. 
Okay. And now we have a market. We can reduce exchange cost. I don't know that we'll be doing that much trading. But we can trade any kind of resource for wood. And we would probably then trade... Pepkin? 1 to 10. Alright, so we don't have to do it right now. We need to figure out what we need to build. We need... A harvest hut. We can build that right now. And we can build a mobile one, which I like. Either way, it's really cheap to build the mobile ones, so I will do it. And we just got space for another mobile building, by the way, so I think it's a decent idea. Got plenty of wool. The next thing we then need is a quarry. We can afford it right now, okay. Stone, there's plenty of that on this map. Stone there, there here. So like a mine or uh, quarry here would be decent. Yeah. And we'll make a permanent one. We'll remove all resources from that hex. It's 500 game. Okay. That's a fair observation. Here then. Go. A new vagary will happen soon. Drudgery. The work of a stone gatherer and its specializations has been decreed particularly annoying during a fireside discussion. <laughs> Pupils really do not want to do it and get sick if they are working in this field. The affliction starts lasts for six turns until the pupils start complaining about something else. <laughs> okay, uh, and we are about to do this stone gatherer, but we can put it off for another six turns or whatever. It's fine. Drudgery, yeah. Okay. Shampoo is gathering wood, but should start gathering Pepkin for the Harvest Hut. The Harvest Hut could be upgraded. The Hook House could be upgraded. Hunting Lodge. We would probably like to upgrade the market. Because the market will be going with us to the next tile, and we haven't made any trades yet, so it will help us in the long run. There's nothing for you to do, is there? Oh, you can go for the wood over here. Because Shampoo arrives now and wants to go for the harvest hut. So then you can do wood. Simri. Baojun is a hurdle level one. Wait, what? Excuse me? Cannot go across mountains. Or oh, someone else got the thing, but they cannot specialize. That's Blout, the eternal beginner. I thought that was Baojun. Alright. So you are now specialized in herding. And you've become like a ram. Very cool. Extra uh, wool per harvest cycle or more knowledge points. I think I'll take the knowledge points again. Because we got plenty of wool at this point. I do not see that vagary with the uh, stone harvest anymore. When was this? There could be turn numbers attached to these figure, uh, these events here. That would be nice. Influential nature in two turns. Aware of the presence of pupils in its environment, nature protects its resources and protective auras increase their areas of influence. Okay, but we don't care about that. Great. And we are preparing food every turn. All right. Just keep working at that. Everyone is working. So now a wood resource has been depleted, which means we can't have as many wood uh, harvesters as we have. Wood gatherers. Shampoo is a now a food gatherer level 1. Alright. And I would love to get more pepkin per harvest cycle. 
Life ESA Hunter level 2. And can harvest fine game or get minus 2 turns per harvest cycle, but also get less game per harvest cycle, but can now hunt any hex within a range of vision. Can hunt on any hex within the range of vision and a a uh, a pupil has a range of a vision range of one, so they she means that she can run hunt at a range of one, which is nice, I suppose. But I so I think I want this fine game. Not sure what we can use it for. Probably, yeah, I don't know. Where where do we see the fine game as a resource for the recipes? Nowhere. Which means what? It's not even a resource up here, so that makes me wonder what fine game even means. It's probably just this game, but it's like in a resource that is exclusive to someone who has that trait. So you will have access to more game overall, which I like. So we will take that one. I don't know that there's any fine game here. There is, so it's not completely used. There's some right here. Alright. Overall, it looks good. Drudgery. The work of a cook and its specializations has been decreed particularly annoying to a fireside discussion. In the next six turns, we don't want to have any cooks. Alright, that's fine. And immediately you get sick. Oh, I should have taken you off of that before it happened then. That's my bad. Even though. Alright. You know what? Is this simmy? Yes. Let's build a dispensary. And let's figure out where to build it. There's spices here. There. Is that it? I don't see any more. So we could build this dispensary here. And it's going to be a bit of a trick getting to that up there. But we probably won't be doing that much. But this way we can heal our dudes. And so I will set it up. Out leveled up, but cannot really get far in, in that area anyway. Wood depleted and wood depleted, drudgery and wood depleted there. Yeah, so 100 wood is what we've got left, and that's all we're gonna get. Let me upgrade the market while I remember, and then we would need 50 stone to upgrade it again, which I think I would like. Who's not working? Loud. Alright, there's no wood to gather. Hmm. Cookhouse farm is not available. We might have overstretched, as in I can't actually assign you to do anything. Pepkin, I suppose. Uh, particularly this pepkin over here is where I want you to go. Far away from the harvest hut. Okay, and then you'll know when you're done with that. Come and work at the dispensary. And then Simri will overtake the... Let's try that again. Spices. You go for the stone. Good. Any upgrade to make here? Extra research per turn for 10 when someone is working in building here. Okay. I think I'll take it. We're going to make that back pretty quickly. It's going to cost us 20 stone, but the, the research will come back pretty quickly. The 100, it's going to be 10 turns. Sure. We can cook again now, which is also something to consider. And I'm thinking about making Blout cook. New Vega Reef will happen soon. What? Malfunction in two turns. Whilst a, doing a checkup of the caravan buildings, a pupil realizes that a building has particularly collapsed, uh, partially collapsed and is out of order until repaired. Alright. 
something to deal with maybe in the next episode. I'm going to cut it here, folks. I'm uh, thinking that we're doing pretty well at this point, and I'm happy with where we are. Six pupils is probably the max that you would go for. Some some hordes are going to be smaller than this one here, and so it's going to be tricky to employ everyone going forward, but we will do our best. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. See you in the next episode, and bye-bye.